What you doing? Playing Kingdom Hearts. Two. Kingdom Hearts? Who's that guy? It's Roxas. Roxas, where's Donald? Can you feel Sora? And this? We can always buy some sea salt ice cream. Sea <laughs> salt ice cream. That does sound delicious. Cutscene cooking! Kingdom Hearts is a single player RPG for the PlayStation 2. Ditto for its sequel, Kingdom Hearts, well, 2. It was developed and published by Square Enix with the cooperation of Disney Interaction Studios. The story centers around Sora and his friends as he encounters characters from both the Disney and the Final Fantasy worlds. There have been multiple continuations of the series as well as a prequel. Today we are going to be making the ever so famous Sea Salt Ice Cream which first appeared in Kingdom Hearts 2. The ingredients you'll need are... 2 eggs 1 cup of milk 1 cup of sugar 1 cup of heavy cream 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract Sea salt And blue green food coloring Which is optional If you want that original Kingdom Hearts blue aqua kind of color First, crack two eggs into a medium-sized bowl and whisk. When you feel like you've whisked enough, add the cup of sugar and whisk some more until creamy. In the meantime, heat the milk in the saucepan on medium until it's about to boil, but make sure it does not boil. It has to be about to boil. Constantly stir it with a wooden spoon so that it doesn't cook. Then add your sugar and egg mix to the almost but not yet boiling milk. Then stir until it thickens. Also lower the tip. You can tell when the mixture starts to thicken when it no longer comes through the slots in the spoon as smooth as it is now. See how it's coming out in bursts? That's how you know it's ready. Put it in the refrigerator for 30 to 45 minutes. Today's Extra Life is inspired by the Paupu fruit from the first Kingdom Hearts game, the fruit where Sora and Kairi were supposed to share so that their destinies were intertwined forever. Alright, so today's beverage, we are going to use pineapple, mango juice, guava juice, and then a coconut rum or liqueur. If you want the virgin version, instead of your coconut liqueur or rum, just simply swap it out with coconut water. So we're going to use the pineapple, frozen pineapple as ice cubes. You can put about four of them in there. If you want to get creative, you can actually use star fruit, but those are a little bit more expensive and hard to come by. Then we're going to fill the cup three-fourths of the way full with mango juice. After the mango juice, we're going to put a dash of guava. So it's going to change the color just a little bit and add some great flavor. Then we're going to put the coconut rum in. Now you can use a shot glass if you want, but a cap full will do the trick as well. Give it a quick mix. And there you go, you have your extra life. Remember, play responsibly and find someone to share it with. Now that it's room temperature or colder, take it out. Now add one cup of heavy cream and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And now for the sea salt. It's entirely up to you how much sea salt you want to put in, but be careful. We put in one teaspoon, but if you want a really, 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 really salty ice cream, you can put more, but trust me, one teaspoon will be plenty. This is completely optional, but if you want to get the authentic Kingdom Hearts look, add 10 drops of blue food dye and 2 drops of green food dye. Place it in a cup mold, or place it in an ice cube mold, or just leave it in the bowl if you want to, and then place it in the freezer for about 358 slash 2 days. Okay, that was a bad joke. For about six hours. 
That is a long time. But at least you'll be sore by then, so um, something to look forward to. Hope you enjoy this first episode of Cutscene Cooking. See you next time!